Thank you for watching us on YouTube. But did you know that if you're on the go, you can get the full show as a podcast now? You can get our morning breakdown of the most important topics facing our country, news not being covered by the mainstream media, interviews with change-making progressives, and info on what you can actually do about all this. Search for The Damage Report on your favorite podcast app and subscribe so you know when new episodes are ready to go. Beto O'Rourke is running against Ted Cruz in the Texas Senate race that's gonna happen in it's just like a couple weeks now. And it could not be more consequential. Like if Ted Cruz gets knocked out in this, that would be amazing. It would go 15 to 20% of the way to restoring my faith in this country, I think, if that were to happen. And Beto O'Rourke has an opportunity. If he campaigns right, because so far he has been go, he has been putting soft in his criticisms of Ted Cruz. He's been going super uh. soft. Um, but a, a, a director, Richard Linkletter, he's come out with an ad attacking Ted Cruz, and I want to show it to, uh, to you because this is how I think the, the tone that should be struck by Beto O'Rourke, as you'll see. Somebody left something on my door the other day. Is it Ted Cruz, toughest Texas? <laughs> I mean, come on. If somebody called my wife a dog and said my daddy was in on the Kennedy assassination, I wouldn't be kissing their ass. You stick a finger in their chest and give them a few choice words. Or you drag their ass out by the woodshed and kick their ass, Ted. Come on, Ted. Political ad paid for by FTC PAC, not authorized by any candidate or candidates committee. That almost it's could so not awesome. be more fun. No, everything was right. Oh. Everything was done absolutely perfectly in that mm -hmm. ad. Even down to the last graphic where they used the smug look, it was an outline mm -hmm. graphic of Ted Cruz's face with the, with the cross through it, the X through it. Yeah, it was everything that, that's, that epitomizes who Ted Cruz is and what people really do think about him. Remember that um, uh, bacon-wrapped gun? Mm -hmm. It wasn't even an ad, it was some like little side It was a thing. promo video that he yeah, did. With yeah, with someone. And he, put a, he put a strip of uncooked bacon around the barrel of a rifle, fired it a bunch of times so the barrel would heat up and uh, cook the bacon and yeah, eat it. Said, oh, uh, machine, don't do that, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> machine gun bacon, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because I'm really authentic. Um, everyone knows... Uh, how fake Ted Cruz is. Everyone knows how much no one likes Ted Cruz in his mm -hmm. own party. They've each, many of them have said it. Um, so all you have to do is say the obvious. This is what's so simple about this. You talked about how Beto has been soft on him uh, because I don't know. He thinks he wants to rile up some of his voters. His voters don't like him. Mm -hmm. They don't like him. They do it because they're like, well, I mean. This is what we got. I mean, he's going to do whatever we want, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, and he's going to kiss Donald Trump's ass. Cool, we'll do that too. They, they need an option. Give them a full option. Don't let them not know who you are. Sorry, as you're talking, the B-roll of Ted Cruz came up and I had to see his face. Man, they chose <laughs> those pictures carefully. Um, yeah, I agree. So I think, it's, it, look, it's gonna be difficult. The polling has been good so far. A number of polls over the past month or two have made it seem as if Beto O'Rourke is within striking distance, occasionally maybe tied, but he might be down by as much as seven or nine points. It is still gonna be difficult. Absolutely. Do not get overconfident Absolutely. about this. But I do agree with you that Ted Cruz, at least in my experience, and I don't live in Texas anymore, to be fair. I haven't lived there in a number of years. Um, he doesn't seem to me to be the sort of person that's going to inspire way more turnout from Republicans than whatever you would consider the default for that election. Right. Um, I think that they will vote for him. You know, they probably, you know, he's their guy, they voted for him, you know, for a bit. Um, but I don't think he's going to like whip people up into a frenzy. The only, maybe, maybe if Republicans are worried about losing the seat, then they might come out. But that's that's more about control of the Senate than about Ted Cruz specifically. I, I do think that you cannot simply, like we would love to say, just campaign on the issues and say I support this. And yeah, all that's good and you should do that. And I wanna move to a country where that's all it takes to win. But you do have to take this MF for down. And uh, this ad I think is a good demonstration they of how get to do into that. it. I mean, this is the thing, there's a way that, that Republicans fight. They talk about, by the way, based on falsehoods. They talk about all these things that are character things of people, who they are, where they came from, how they wore this one time and how they said this one time to someone else. They bring it all up and they always get away from the actual agenda. Hey, go through your agenda, go through your points of view, Talk about how much better your policy is versus uh, Cruz's for Texas. Mm -hmm. Then talk about how much of a piece of garbage he is because he's mm -hmm. both of those things can be true. Yes, you can attack him for their character, and yes, you can also talk about your policies as well. Yeah. We don't have to make them. We don't have to separate the two. Yeah, yeah. And by the way, like Beto, he's a good candidate in a number of different ways. You know, he's he's relatively charismatic. Um, he's good on the issues. People seem to like him. You know, he's young. He's popular and all that. Um, I didn't. I didn't 100% love the way he presented things in the first debate that I covered with Brooke a few weeks back. I thought it was good, but not amazing. And so he has been blessed 
with a guy who, is, who has opened himself up to so much criticism in a way that few candidates get that opening. Like Ted Cruz just reeks of weakness. And, and not like you know, 10, 20 years ago, like he looked terrible in this last election that we had. Yeah. Donald Trump, who Texans definitely like more than they like Ted Cruz, mocked him mercilessly. And Ted Cruz attacked Trump a bunch, use both of those to attack him. Just show all of his, you know, show him calling Trump a sniveling coward. Trump voters in Texas are not gonna like that. Show Trump saying that, that Ted Cruz has never accomplished anything for Texas. Absolutely. Like maybe he wants to take it back now, but he said it then. And they believe that Donald Trump is authentic and always tells the truth. So if you use his words against him, it will work well. Say it over yes. and over and over and exactly. over again. And you know, there's this feeling that you're gonna alienate uh, Democratic voters or liberals or whatever you want, progressives, because you're being too mean to someone. Oh man, uh -uh. they like they like highbrow conversation. Sure they do, but you know what else? The people forget that uh, liberals, progressives, they're also Americans too. Mm -hmm. and we're raised in the same country. There's a certain level of like gut wrenching, like I want to beat their ass type of approach to things. That yeah, they like this. Just like the, when the gun issue, people like to say, "Oh man, you know, we're gonna keep those guns for our conservatives." Do you know that liberals have guns? Somehow mm -hmm. they, th that's an obvious fact to me, mm -hmm. but somehow they think that liberals like look at a gun and go, mm -hmm. no, they want, they want common sense ways to control people being murdered yeah. mass, uh, uh, egregiously in the streets. So you, you, can't, you can't buy into the BS that we've always been taught about the difference between each kind of person in our yeah. country. Yeah, agreed. So great ad. Uh, the, we the like Lil Brown too. Yeah, we do. And by the way, you know what we'd like? <laughs> to be back in power in any area of America, because we have none, basically. Side note on that, the Republicans, their thing now is to talk about how there's left wing mobs, they're too dangerous to rule, They've, they're harassing conservatives everywhere. Like they are the ultimate victims, even though they now control the White House, the Senate, the House, the Supreme Court, most of the governorships, most of the state legislatures. Can you imagine how they're gonna act when they don't have all the political power they in America? Have all the Jesus. Power. The only thing left is the citizenry who's now they're attacking. Like, yeah. I can't believe these people, uh, Americans, they call themselves, uh, want to tell us what to do. How dare they? Yeah. Now, so the disdain for the people that they're supposed to represent is at an all time high. Just yeah. listen to what they say. It's yeah. all you have to do. One other thing I want to say, though, too, is. Uh, obviously, that's a, that's a character actor. Um, but what's amazing is how different accents, like you automatically assume things about people, like some negative, some positive. So when he says, um, you know, like Ted, he calls my wife a dog, like there's like an authenticity we assume to that. Like, oh, this is a guy who is definitely being honest. That you just sort of read that into the accent. Yeah. And then I think about like the accent that I have just because I was born in Connecticut and raised there. And I think it's all negative. <laughs> I don't, there's nothing cool yeah, there's that some you get from that. You don't say, uh, and he said, my daddy. You don't say that as a grown man if you're from like, you know, that's yeah. a southern way, way of saying your father, my yeah. daddy. Yeah, I would say my papa, perhaps. <laughs> but no, there's nothing, no good qualities come from my papa. Thank you very much for watching this clip from The Damage Report. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell on YouTube to get notifications of our new videos. And of course, you can catch the full Damage Report live every weekday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific on TYT Network on YouTube TV.